talk about my favorite conspiracy theory, which is, I believe, personally, I believe that the NFL is pushing stories about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift because they're trying to appeal to the female demographic even more. Yeah, yeah, I believe it too, but I think their whole relationship might be fake. (laughs) Anyway, last week we were talking with Link Lauren about Taylor Swift telling her fans to register to vote on her Instagram story. And that just seems like a throwaway post, like no one's going to pay attention to it. No, 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 no. But in reality, (laughs) she actually got tens of thousands of her young fans to register to vote. 35,252. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to remind you that that is 35,252 new Democrat voters. Every single one of them. And Taylor Swift is solely responsible for that. She is truly the great Satan. She will, she could absolutely like, look, here's the thing. They just kicked Russell Brand off the internet and Taylor Swift just got 35,000 new Democrat voters. If you don't think this is a little bit planned, and you might be a little bit crazy, yeah. but I'm just saying. It's a little bit sus. Uh, this was a 23% jump from last year's National Voter Registration Day and the largest since the 2020 general election year, according to Vote.org. A 115% increase in 18-year-olds registering compared to last year. Yep. So... She, she, her impact is truly astonishing. And I did ask the chat, I said, do you think that it's all a psyop right now? I said, is the NFL faking Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's relationship to appeal to women? 68% say yes. It's so a psyop. She is now allegedly in a relationship with Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs. And girls just care about football now. It's all of a sudden just girls like making TikToks about their game day outfits yes, and was, they're talking I, about football players. I was telling Mary this story It's just about out of how nowhere. It's overnight. I was watching these videos where these, these women, these influencers would do these videos like game day attire. So it's like her and her three friends yeah. and they're changing into their various outfits. One says Auburn. One says, uh, one says Florida State. And the funny part about it is like all these women are wearing, are now putting on outfits from different schools or different teams. That's a no-no. Yeah. I already get in trouble. Look, it's about the aesthetic, Brett. I already get in trouble for wearing multiple baseball teams, team hats because I support one team because it's where I'm from and the other one because my favorite player of all time played for there. And even that's considered iffy. I have in the past seen NBA wife inspo TikToks. Yeah, it was bigger in the, it was. But NFL wife is going to start surging in the trends i'm Wads. sure Wads because of taylor swift and her impact on her female fan base as if the wokeness in the nfl wasn't enough to bring in a female audience i think they finally got the key yep. and it's this manufactured relationship i did see uh, a tweet saying the nfl is orchestrating an elaborate fake relationship between travis kelsey and taylor swift to try to grow their brand among women now, I don't with think an image of Tiffany Gomez. I do not <laughs> think I do not think the relationship is fake. I think that the reason why yesterday when all of these accounts that I follow that just talk sports normally yeah. or stuff to do with the players are suddenly getting quotes from Bill Belichick on what yes. he thinks he of says, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift is absolutely Travis planned. Travis Kelsey has had a lot of big catches in his career. This would be his biggest. I cringed so hard. I literally went like this. I went... You shriveled, I, I almost, you shriveled into a, a raisin when you saw that. I almost died of cringe. Yeah. Um, and Travis Kelsey is already cringe in his own right. He is a Pfizer shill. He just did an ad for Pfizer where can, he's promoting getting the flu shot and your Pfizer booster this, this flu season, both in one. He looks like a less cool Jake McLaughlin. Let's, uh, Let's take a this. look at this monstrosity. Travis, did you know you can get this season's COVID-19 shot when you get your flu shot? Uh, did you know that? Two things at once. Two things at once. Two things at once. I'll have the uh, two things at once, please. Now back to two things at once. Two things at once. That's not two things at once. Mom. Travis, ask about getting this season's COVID-19 shot when getting your flu shot. 
<laughs> this is Taylor Swift's new boyfriend, everyone. And their relationship seems to be moving fast, which is normal for her. She's already met his mom. No, okay, that was that was my problem with it. So, so she's at the game. Met Donna. She's at the game, <laughs> like celebrating with his mom. And I'm like She's just chilling with Donna. Just, and I'm like, it this seems a little bit quick. They were hugging. Don't they were you like, think? They were like hugging after they after he scored. And I was like, seriously. Is his mom just a Swifty and, and his mom was like, you need to date Taylor Swift so that I can be friends with her? Probably. I would find that more believable than that this is an inorganic connection. Dave Portnoy also agrees that Travis Kelsey is using Taylor Swift for clout. I, I think it's working, and I am the target demographic here yeah. as a woman, as a whammon. I had never heard of Travis Kelsey before. Yeah. Nor would I know what team he is on. I couldn't believe it. I, I never heard of Travis Kelsey, and now I know who he is. So the PSYOP is working on me. Let's watch the video of the girl who's like yes, really upset. Yes, this is a Barstool sports writer I got who sent this doesn't from, understand this relationship. I got sent this from George on Twitter. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Here we go. Let's watch this video. I've seen the videos. I've seen the clips, okay? I'm just trying to catch up. I never in a million fucking years that I think that I would have to take time out of my Sunday to watch the Chiefs play. I chose them today to win because I thought, okay, like if we're still doing this, we're still doing this. I cannot believe that Taylor is at this game. And I'll be honest, I, I, I mean, what am, what am I going to say? She's at the game. She's, she loved all that corny bullshit. He's so, like, he's so gross. <laughs> I, I just, I have no interest in him. She's with Donna Kelsey. Everything about this I hate. But she seems to love it. I don't know. She seems to love it. She's having a good time. What a betrayal for the Eagles, by the way. She's an Eagles fan. She's singing about the e She sings about Eagles t-shirts in her songs, but she's doing this. And I'm not shit on Taylor right now. I'm just saying that I think she's a little dick struck, okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe Travis is a dick like that because you don't betray your team and then get, you know, in a Chiefs jersey and, and jump up and down in a booth with his mom if his dick's not that good. So he must, despite how vile and just, and so embarrassingly lame he seems, he must have that good dick game. So good. That's the explanation, folks. Yeah. Um, I Maybe mean, she, she just does really have loves that lyric. Pfizer. She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers, but she's actually in the booth. Yeah, well, she's too she's rich in for the, the glass she's booth too now. She's too rich for the bleachers. Now. Well, she's in the glass booth. I'm on the bleachers. Yes. Taylor. Um, and afterwards, after the game, he apparently rented out an entire restaurant for them I and his they. team. It says they. They don't, they don't specify which one did so, but I don't think it really matters. At both of their if tax brackets. If she rented out the restaurant, I still think just for the sake of uh, yeah. formalities, he, he should, should be the one paying for the restaurant. Agreed. Just I know that they're both incredibly rich and it doesn't matter at all. Well, no, no. Now, for at, the at, sake that, of formality, at that tax bracket, it's about showing that you understand the social norms and the and sure. in the in, yes. in what you're supposed to be doing in that situation. And then they left in a convertible. It's all so fake. It's all so fake. Look at it. Here's them walking through the stadium. Here's them when they're leaving. Who's best? Who's the best? Hey, how you doing? He does have an uh, unbelievably punchable face. You think so? Yes. It's the mustache. The mustache is really annoying. Mustaches are in right and now. Here's, uh, and here's him and Do her and Donna. I just don't understand what her type is. Because one minute she's this with... This might be the first guy that actually has a level of testosterone, though. But that booster commercial, though. I don't know. Money and, talks. Like, one minute she is hanging out with skinny, indie rock, heroin chic, wet cigarette guy, Matty Healy. And then the next minute she's moved on to this guy who's kind of like a beefed up athlete. I don't know if she has a type at all. Is she really interested in dating for its own sake or is it just all a PR game for her? I still believe right now that she's only going to get the most like competitive, competitive of men now because now they're all going to try and be the one who finally breaks the cycle. Who gets to keep her. Yeah. Oh, Do they you want that though? I don't think Ask they're yourself thinking, I don't honestly. Think, I don't think they're think, thinking that far ahead. I don't think they're actually thinking about it. I think all they're thinking about is like, look, all of these men have failed. I get to be Taylor Swift's flavor of the month is what they're thinking. No, they want to be the flavor of a lifetime, right? So the idea is that these Do guys, these guys, now she, if she's going for athletes, they're naturally <laughs> competitive. They want to win. And the only ones who are going to be smart enough 
uh, are the only ones who are going to be stupid enough to be like, look, it doesn't matter. Maybe I just go for it anyways because I'm competitive and I need to win. Not realizing that it's just going to lead to a bunch of song lyrics uh, being written about them eventually. I don't know what these song lyrics will be about, but it'll be annoying. Maybe she's just tolerating Travis Kelsey to hang out with Donna. She's just really friends just, with Donna. He's just, really, she, he's just kind of there. Well, no, may, maybe he's like, look, mom. Her, I, <laughs> he, he was going to say no. He was going to politely decline. I didn't know that this guy was so sought after, and I had never heard of him. But apparently in 2016, they made a whole re like dating reality show called Catching Kelsey about him. And he had 50 suitors from all 50 states of the country trying to impress him. It's like The Bachelor on steroids. I think he said he regretted doing it afterwards because it was so awkward. Here. Um, <clears throat> I feel like we would be just like knock them dead team. <laughs> okay, I hear you. So um, other than that, um, <sighs> this, this is where it gets bad. Um, it's so deceptively edited. It's, no, it's 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 done no, this way. We're like they're grabbing <laughs> shots from when nothing's being yes. said, and it's done on purpose this way. It's okay, very much the, done. It gets worse. Like right there, they were like they're waiting. The director said, "Wait for a second, and they're literally probably just waiting yeah. to be told to to start again. Um, I am just I can't really like say anything else. <laughs> He's like perfect. He's like looking women, at the camera like... He's like, I don't like it when women talk anyways. There's a $20 one there from Ryan, the eating warrior. Guys, she's working on her next album, LMAO, and no man of value wants the floor pizza that is Taylor Swift and her roster. Well, at the very least, if there was ever like a, a flag football game with all of Taylor's ex-boyfriends, this dude would destroy all of them. She is the expert of, in reality like actually being a slut and never being perceived as such. Yeah, because she's in relationships, Mary. She's not just sleeping with she's random men. She's a serial men. She's, monogamist. She's a, she's a serial monogamist who goes around and she, she's like, look, I'm not like, I'm not addicted to, to getting drilled. I get drilled by boyfriend, she says. So it's fine. It's, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about that They're message probably, getting they, they, he's gotta be younger promoted than, to her He's got to be younger than her too, right? Because he's, if he's, um, uh, he's got, at the very least, he's not much older than his early 30s. Let's see. Travis Kelsey age. 29. He's the same age as her. 34? He he's 30? actually two months older than her. Okay. Also born in 1989. They were like, oh, I was born in 1989. You were born in 1989. Let's get married. That's what they were thinking. <laughs> he looks like... like What right, more could we possibly need to have in common? Like right here looks like he's like discount Chris Hemsworth. Kind of. Yeah. Or Chris Evans. I don't know. I, Chris get, them, I get them confused in my head. The, uh, but it's just really funny because when I look at this video, it's, this is literally what you expect when you think of like a, a pick me football girl. So it's it's right on brand. The Pennsylvania girl. I love it. I love it. Let's see. Uh, what is Travis Kelsey's height stats? Well, he's got to be much taller than. He even. is six foot five. Okay, so he's much taller than her. Even she's probably what she's like. What five eleven? Six. I think she's six foot. Is she? Yeah, but okay. or might as well be. I mean, if a guy says he's five eleven, he's five ten. If a girl says she's five eleven, she's, she's six, six feet. Foot. Okay. So yeah, guys, don't, he only has five inches guys, on her. Guys, guys, do not lie about the height. It's it's not necessary. You don't need to do that. <laughs> um, in heels, they're about equal. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's part of it, right? Is uh, you got to find somebody who's like they can't. Are they equal in net worth though? No. Taylor no, Swift no, 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 is no, no, no. looking at becoming a, become billionaire a billionaire this year. He's going to be worth some millions. But, Let's uh, see. I mean, at a certain point, it's immaterial anyway. So he's estimated at thirty million net worth. That's a, so that's a, well, he he's got some catching up to do. He can afford to rent that place out, and the reality True. show that would come out of it would be uh, would be fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. So, well, I guess we'll have to see how how long that lasts. It's uh, it'll be interesting because, like, uh, I would actually, I, I would be. Worried. Do you think this is the husband? No, I don't. But here's <laughs> here's the other thing. Uh, I think it's a problem because, like, if I was the actual coach, if I was the if I played for the Chiefs, you don't want people in your locker room that are a distraction to the team, right? Like that's why you don't want players that behave badly. And all of this hoopla has nothing to do with the game and is a needless distraction for the team. And on the actual broadcast, the NFL yeah. broadcast of the game, they are cutting to shots of Taylor Swift 
waving down from the, the glass booth at Travis Kelsey. Well, that was my big problem with it, right? I was like, why are they, why is so much time being devoted to this? It just didn't like, to I could get see women like, watching. I could see one, one mention of it, but the announcers were talking about it yeah. during the game. That's yeah. insane. There's a $20 one there from Pat the Plumber. Travis jumped the shark this year. He's pushing Pfizer, Bud Light, and a dating dating a C word. Ah, well, I don't know about the C word part. I don't know Is much. he pushing Bud Light? Probably. I don't know. D he got a Bud Light he's got a deal? deal with, he's got a, a deal with Bud Light. I thought they were moving away from the the straight white male demographic. Demo. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I mean, he's just, he's just, he just sees it as like his, uh, he can be contr contrarian, right? No, wait, what do you mean? He's contrarian to what, uh, what well, I guess, no, because football's kind of woke anyways. So it doesn't yeah, matter. yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I think this is all very much like, what it is is all Does sports. Does he kneel during the anthem? All sports, all these things, it's like all of it is the Borg now, right? You're not allowed to be different. You, you can't, country music can't be country music. Football can't be football. Every market share has to try and appeal to people that would have no uh, desire to watch. Now, what's is funny is for years and years and years, television has done this thing where they portray all all the women characters as loving sports or loving gambling or loving drinking. They can drink all the men under the table. They love sports and the men are always like meek and don't care about it. when we know that that's not how the real world is. Yeah. That it's the opposite, but it's social engineering through Hollywood. So they want to, in this case, it's not social engineering for any cause other than we want to increase our share of jerseys sold and merch. And Another I think, TV trope is like every guy who appears to be stereotypically masculine has some stereotypically feminine hobby yes. like crocheting that yeah. he's super ashamed of. Yeah. Or no, or no, it's it's, the, it's, the, it's they're not ashamed of it. They but it just it comes off as like oh lol oh, okay. so quirky, right? Yeah. But uh the the men are always like the, in these situations when the woman is super is super into something that men like the guys are always like they'll go ga they'll gamble and she'll they'll gamble and drink and she'll drink them under the table. Yeah. They did that on uh, on a thing on I Zombie where the character of Peyton uh, is uh, is like go dating Ravi but they're not dating at this time and every night they drink and she drinks him under the table even though he's like a foot and a half right. taller than her and weighs twice what she weighs and we know that that's not it's how just the world magic. It's magic. It's, <laughs> but it's it, yeah. Okay. Have you known girls who, as soon as they start dating a, a new guy, they change their personality to mm. conform to yes. the type of woman they think that he is interested that. in? Because I, I, I think I have actually known women that pretend to like football for a guy that likes football. And it's just, it's embarrassing. And I think that a lot of the Swifties watching this. I mean, they pretended to like indie rock two months ago when she was dating Maddie Healy. Now they're going to pretend they're going to switch up and pretend that they like football. I saw a tweet that's and, and it's I, not even their boyfriend. I saw somebody <laughs> in the chat that said there's going to be like when they break up, there's going to be a ton of Chiefs merch at the Goodwill. <laughs> so just wait. Right. But like their stocks going up right now. I, I've always, I, I never wanted like I never liked the idea of like uh, like I had friends that they like they bring their girlfriend skating and I'd be like, oh, my God. They, like they want to be literally anywhere but here like there is a it's, trope of teach me how to skate i mean that is a trope that's but this isn't that this is them coming out well we're actually going and doing like like actual like tricks and stuff like that this isn't going around the right the the lake or something like that that's fine that's something you can do together but bringing them with to a session where you're doing tricks on ledges and handrails where they just look bored because they're there because you know they spend all their time together i was like, I was like please no <laughs> like if a girl's like take me skating with you like mm, no but then they'll get all mad and fine like why fine there's someone there you don't want me to see. Yeah, I'd rather have that argument because at least it's traditional. <laughs> it's traditional. I, 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 I'd rather have that it's argument. It's trad. <laughs> it's a trad argument. I like it. Uh, there's a twenty dollar one there from Gordon Shumway. Oh, uh, the Chiefs would actually love if they got married. Tom Brady was married to Giselle, and she made more money than Tom. He would take pay cuts to play, and that helped the team. The Chiefs might hope Travis would do the yeah. same. Uh, yeah, but let, he'll let's, be living well, off of that Taylor Swift. Tra Wealth treasure trove. Travis Kelsey is not Tom Brady level. No, he's not. No, 
no, no. But that would that's a very clever actually that's Giselle, a very clever Giselle is not Taylor Swift level. Yeah. That's a very clever actually. like marketing tactic that the coach is in there like, yeah, she seems like you're tight, my friend. And like it's like the head office is basically saying we gotta get this guy uh to come down on his next next contract because they always need more, right? They're like, look, if he he'll take a pay cut to stay in Kansas City if he if he gets Taylor to marry uh to oh, marry yes. him and move there, and then Taylor falls in love with Kansas City, which I doubt would ever happen, but it'd be interesting. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.